working hard. Yeah, I have to finish a story before September Fashion Week. What's it about? The fashion calendar, it's broken. That's why I can't find a swimsuit even though it's summertime. <laughs> key ingredients for a great summer. A hot crush and a sexy swimsuit. It was August and I had the crush, but I couldn't find the swimsuit anywhere. I went to see Michelle Goad for help. She works in merchandising at Marc Jacobs and she's also a pal. Hi. 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 I have a big summer crush that I'm super excited about. Oh, wait, that's so exciting! Yeah, it's super exciting. I'm, yeah, he just asked me to go to the beach. All his friends will be there, who I haven't met. Oh, you're <laughs> naked in a bikini. <laughs> yeah, or naked because I don't have a bikini. You're in the wrong season. <laughs> I thought August was summer, but Michelle told me I was in pre-fall. For luxury companies like her employer, Marc Jacobs, the fashion calendar has four seasons for delivering clothes. Pre-fall, fall, resort, and spring. Pre-fall and resort stay in stores for six months as opposed to fall and spring, which only stay for three. So pre-fall and resort are bigger collections with a better chance of selling. Fall and spring earn less sales, but are still important. They're the extravagant looks we see on the runway twice a year at Fashion Week. Oh my gosh, what is it? Sorry you couldn't make it today. How about just you and I go next weekend? Oh my gosh, you should have met him a year ago. <laughs> to prepare. <laughs> Tell me about it. I needed to find a swimsuit, and I wanted to know why this was impossible. I thought if anyone could help, it'd be Julie Gilhart, the fashion director of Barney's. A customer, like a Barney's customer, um, she wants things ahead of other people. So instead of deliver when you can wear it, we're a little bit ahead of it. But it's also the system, and it's the system of sale. If you get your things in early, they're on the floor longer, they have a longer time to sell. It, it all depends on the market. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you go to the lower end market, and their turn is pretty quick. Like someplace like a Zara, they get a new collection in every two weeks or every month. We live in a fast age. Mm -hmm. And the magazines are actually following it too. You'll see December issue will definitely cover the things that are going to be happening in spring. Fashion's just reflecting what is being demanded. Right. But it's still the basic thing is that come February and there's a snowstorm and you want to buy some boots, you can't find a pair of boots. I mean, you have to search. But just because the broken fashion calendar was a systemic problem didn't mean we couldn't try to fix it. Michelle and I put our heads together over lunch. So is there a way that you think this whole thing could shift where designers would still have enough time to sell their collections, but they would be selling at a time that makes more sense? I think it's in that pre-fall and resort delivery, like flip-flopping the sales, or just sort of calling it something else. It wasn't easy, but Michelle figured out that swapping the delivery dates for resort and pre-fall and shifting the whole calendar back a couple of months might get us closer to summer clothes in the summertime. Do fall and spring just get to be fall and spring? I think so. That's what we want. I just want a bathing suit today. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna have to take on a couple of people, like the entire fashion industry, for that to happen. Merchandisers like Michelle are still working on fixing the larger calendar. But in the meantime, she found a quick way to beat the system and get me a swimsuit. But I knew Michelle could only be one part of the solution. I thought about what Julie said, about the media setting the pace for consumers. Magazines are actually following it too. December issue will definitely cover the things that are going to be happening in spring. And people like Grace Coddington, Vogue's creative director, said new media was making it even worse. We don't Twitter, we don't Facebook, we don't blog. Trying to speed up all those poor designers, it makes them do it not so well. As a journalist, I was all too familiar with the pressure to produce. I do Twitter, I do Facebook, I do blog. But maybe conversations on those platforms could actually help fix the calendar. Maybe journalism speeding up could actually help fashion slow down.